Welcome back everyone, it's the Bourbon Judge. We are back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun. And we have another release from Peerless Distillery. So when you think of Peerless Distillery, um, you know, I think of a couple of things. Number one, they're based right downtown Louisville, Kentucky. You know, the owner, Corky, and the whole team there, they are very much like a very much like a hands-on experience. Everyone who's worked there, they've been working there, for, you know, since they, for the most part, kind of since the distillery kind of kicked off and, you know, relaunched, if you will. So I really love what Peerless has been doing. Um, when I think about Peerless, they're a little bit bigger than like a craft distillery but they really do put their time and effort into each and every barrel. And I will say, I've never actually had a bad bottle of Peerless whiskey before. So this is interesting. This is a new release. We're entering a whole new uh, world here. So um, again, when you think of Peerless, I think of, you know, obviously they have their standard bourbon, they have their rye, um, they have the small batch versions of each as well. And then they also have their distillery picks, which you could only typically get at the distillery. Fast forward, um, the first, let's call it major release, other than their bourbon or rise, and other than their distillery only picks, was their um, their double oak. So their double oak bourbon is absolutely flat out ridiculous. It won my top double oak, um, you know, kind of blind that I that I had. So it was absolutely amazing. But then I saw this bad boy. I'm like, wait a second, what is going on? Peerless bourbon. Finish in a rum barrel? Never seen this before. <laughs> I'm out hunting, and let's go ahead and pop this real quick. I'm out hunting, you know, looking for whiskey, and I saw this just kind of sitting on the shelf, and I'm like, wait a second. I don't remember this one uh, being out and being available, but hey, nonetheless, it was out, it was available. Now, we'll say from a, let's call it availability standpoint, this bad boy is hard to find. You know, I'm always driving around the tri-state area for me, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, PA, and I only saw this thus far in New Jersey. So from an availability standpoint, this is definitely limited. All right, we're doing a fresh crack here. Normally I like to let things kind of open up a little bit, but today we're doing a fresh crack. So when you think of bourbon whiskey finished in rum, it's been done before. You have, uh, let's see, let's think of some of the other ones out there. Woo, don't you love that sound? <laughs> I sure do. So who do we have? You have, of course, Barstown. Barstown Bourbon Company, they uh, put out a rum finished bourbon. You have Breckenridge. Breckenridge is another one that put out a rum finished bourbon. And then you also have like Starlight. Starlight also has their own rum finished bourbon as well. And I'm sure there are others too, but those are the three that for me kind of come to mind. When I saw this, it was right in line from a price standpoint with all the other peerless whiskeys that they put out in the past. About a uh, high 80s 90s i think i paid with tax like 90 92 dollars for this bad boy so you know i think it was priced at like 85 to 88 and with tax came to be like 92 95 dollars so still that same price point for peerless as a whole so nothing uh extra which is good i'm good with that and when i look at this one so it's coming in so you know this one i should say it is barrel proof so it's 112 Point six proof 112.6 proof for this bottle now what we do not know we do not know the exact age of the actual original bourbon. Plus, we don't know how long it was dumped and it stayed um, uh, in the second barrel, the uh, the rum barrel. So we don't know the total age as a whole or either or for that matter. We do know it's barrel proof, not adding any water. They're using uh, a sweet mash. And I love the fact they're using uh, it's non-chill filter. So they're keeping all those great fatty acids. They're keeping it all in. So it's non-chill filter. So again, we do all we know is straight bourbon whiskey, barrel proof, and it's uh, finished in rum. So that's all we know, folks. <laughs> all right, but this one, I will say, this is the first major release of another product other than their bourbon and their rye, which they've had forever. This is the first one other than the double oak. So they tested this um, at the distillery, but then they actually officially really released it in August of 2022. So when this came out, even I missed the memo, but hey, it's out. Um, again, I haven't seen a lot of different places. Let's get into this nose, folks. Whew, all right, I love, mm, already smells like super sweet off the nose, which I love by itself. Oh, man. I will tell you, I'm hoping this one doesn't disappoint me because, like I said, I've never had a bad bottle of Peerless Whiskey before, and I mean ever. And that includes my the distillery only releases, the bourbon, the rye, the small batch. Never had a bad bottle of uh, a Peerless Whiskey before, so we shall see. A rum-finished bourbon. All right. 
So, Judge, what am I getting in the news? As to be expected, the traditional bourbon notes are definitely there. The caramel, smidge of cinnamon. But I'm also getting, that rum is definitely getting in like that, uh, almost like a caramelized, like a sugar kind of a note. Almost like a creme brulee kind of a note, if you will. So it's almost like a creme brulee, like a caramelized sugar kind of blending in with caramel, blending in with some cinnamon. The nose is definitely very sweet. But I like that though. I mean, I do like that. So that is not a bad thing at all. Ooh, all right. Real quick, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Have you seen this bad boy out, you know, while you've been hunting? And if so, if you grabbed it, what are your thoughts on it? And last but not least, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell as well so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right, my friends. Here we go. Cheers. Ooh. Mm. Oh, man. Hold on one second. Oh, wow. That's a damn. That's a long finish. Woo. That was like a slow kind of a gut punch at the end there. Oh, that's very bold. Very vibrant in the palate. It really does remind me of like a almost like a um, a creme brulee, like a, a um, take sugar, like a caramelized kind of a sugar note mixed in with the bourbon notes, mixed in with like the, the caramel the cinnamon let me get a little bit more this is really nice jeez hold on oh oh yeah so what i like about this is that the bourbon and the rum they live in their own lane but they come together as well this is not overpowered by the bourbon and it's not overpowered by the rum that is unique because a lot of times when you have a finished whiskey, many occasions, the bourbon or the rum, somebody's going to win out. This, I would say, is like they kind of coexist in the same house and they're living together and they're actually happy. <laughs> Truly happily ever after. This, my friends, you know, ask me, judge, is this a buy, a do not buy, or leave it on the shelf? What is your verdict? This is definitely a buy. I will say... Peerless hit another home run yet again. This is probably one of the best, in my opinion, honestly, I think it's probably one of the best um, uh, bourbons out there finished in a rum barrel by far. What I love about it, again, as I said earlier, is not only the complexity of it, but I love the fact that your traditional bourbon notes, your caramel, your cinnamons, a little bit, a smidge, I mean, just a smidge, a smidge of like a maple syrup note, that's all kind of mixed together with that caramelized uh, sugar note, and but they live together, but yet they're separate. So you, you have that rum note and those uh, the bur traditional bourbon notes run it coming together, but then separate at the same time. So neither one is really better than the other. This, my friends, is flat out ridiculously good, and there is no way, <laughs> there is no way I'm leaving this little drop in the glass. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Wow, I gotta pour more.